Hi everyone. I thought uh, I would talk about the Beatles. So, you know, when I was hearing Beatles albums in the 60s, being a young kid, I did not know that there was any difference between the, the Beatles, Canadian or US albums compared to the UK albums until I think it was about 1980. <laughs> uh, and then I would see, you know, like Rubber Soul in, in the record stores, the UK version of it. And I would see that it would start with Drive My Car and it'd be Drive My Car. Uh, when I'm, you know, I was so used to, I've just seen a face as the opening song. And so I thought it would go through the Canadian Beatles albums. Uh, I didn't have all of them. Like, you know, growing up, there were some that my brothers or I never had, but we had a few of them. And so I just want to talk about them. So here we go. And it says here, as in the USA, the Beatles releases in Canada were marketed by Capitol. Unlike America, however, Capitol in Canada issued the group's recordings from early 1963. The first three Canadian albums were different from the US releases, although from the A Hard Day's Night soundtrack onwards, they were largely identical. And uh, Let It Be was released as a box set with a paperback book, as in the United Kingdom. And I remember my, my second oldest brother having that, the Beatles box set with a book. And, and as it's pretty well known, the book would fall apart really easily. It wasn't, they had, I guess, some issue with the glue that was used. And so... I remember the pages easily falling apart, although I couldn't touch my brother's record, so it wasn't my issue. <laughs> uh, so the first one, and I think that I remember maybe my sister having this album, Beatlemania with the Beatles. And of course, in the States, it was uh, Meet the Beatles, and in the UK, it was With the Beatles. And so there's the song listing. So, yeah, it looks like we had the very same uh, track listing as the UK for that album. And I think the, uh, the American version only had 11 songs. And then I remember I'm not sure if we had, I think we did at some point, Twist and Shout. It was a Canadian album with uh, the, the tracks from Please Please Me. We didn't know. Like I thought, you know, like I said back in the, in the 60s, I thought that was a real, you know, Beatles album that they made, Twist and Shout. <laughs> and then... Uh, Long Tall Sally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve songs. And then A Hard Day's Night, which I think was the same. Yeah, I think it was the same as the U.S. version, but it was released on United Artist label, not on Capitol. And then something new. <laughs> and some of these albums, I don't think I ever had that one, but on the back of, say, for instance, uh, on the back of just on the back of some of the albums you would see the other Beatles albums like uh, something new so the track listing for something new is I'll cry instead so slow down tell me why and I love her so they're just taken from different albums and singles and but I didn't know I thought it was a real Beatles album <laughs> then the Beatles story, which, uh, like I, yeah, like
like on, for instance, something new on the back cover, you would see other Beatles albums, and one of them was the Beatles story, which I never had. Never even heard. I might have heard it later on, but it's just, you know, interviews on stage with the Beatles. Yeah. And that was a double, double vinyl record. And the Beatles 65, I remember my family having with, uh, and so that song's from uh, Beatles for Sale, of course. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven songs, not fourteen. Although I think uh, Beatles for Sale had thirteen songs, but usually they would have fourteen songs for the early uh, UK albums. Pretty good uh, cover art, though. Then Beatles uh, six which I owned, or I had. I didn't buy it, but it was maybe given to me. And it started out with Kansas City, hey, 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 and eight days a week. Uh, Bad Boy was on, on the album, and that was just a, a B-side in the UK. And uh, the States, I believe. And there's the cover. And I didn't know for years and years what they were doing there, and they're they're cutting a cake, but of course the cake is out of the picture. And then help, which I had my own copy of on vinyl, and it had a gatefold, and it would have instrumental sections from the movie, so it only had one, two, three four, five, six, seven Beatles songs. So just side A of the UK help. Uh, but the instrumentals were pretty cool, actually. And I love the way that help would start with that little bit of uh, James Bond kind of a theme. And of course, yeah, Rubber Soul. I, I was so used, you know, for years and years and years of Rubber Soul starting with I've Just Seen a Face. <laughs> and that's actually the way it is talked about, you know, by Beatles fans that this is the one time when the uh, American and, and Canadian version of, Ru of Rubber Soul is better than the UK version. Although it doesn't have as many songs, of course. The... the uh, Canadian and American version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, and the UK version, I believe, had 14 songs. But at least it ends with Run for Your Life, like the UK version. And uh, yeah, It's Only Love is, of course, on the UK help, but I think it's perfect on, on uh, Rubber Soul. And I've just seen a face, of course, is from the UK Help. And I think it's a, a better opening track for Rubber Soul than Drive My Car. You know, just my own opinion. And then, yesterday and today, of course, they're using the uh, the Butcher cover. I don't know why they're, they're doing that. If I remember, I'll put in the actual... <laughs> the one that I owned. I didn't. I never knew about the Butcher cover probably until, once again, the early, late 70s, early 80s. So, yeah, yesterday and today started with Drive My Car. And I'm only sleepy, nowhere, man. So it's from, yeah, as you'll see later, there's three songs. And, of course, they're all, all three of them are John songs <laughs> from Revolver. And then Day Tripper, which was actually a single. It was never on a real Beatles album back in the day. Yeah, and then we really got ripped off with Revolver. But like I said, back in the day, I, I didn't know any better. At least it started with Taxman. Yeah, so 
you know, Canada and the U.S. really got ripped off with Revolver because, like I said, it's missing three great John songs. Poor John. Yeah. Uh, I'm Only Sleeping, Dr. Robert, and Andrew Burr Can Sing were on Yesterday and Today. And, and then finally, I guess... Uh, after Revolver, we actually got the very same as the UK versions, and same with the States, thankfully. <laughs> and uh, just like the States, we got uh, the album version of Magical Mystery Tour with a really nice booklet inside. Didn't know anything about EPs back in the day. And then we got the very same as the UK version of uh, the White Album. And Yellow Submarine, of course. And Abbey Road. Yeah, and I remember this coming out. Hey Jude, the Beatles again. I don't know if the Canadian version was called Hey... I'm, I forget. But I remember, you know, one of my older brothers buying it. And, you know, for a split second, I'm thinking, oh, it's a new Beatles album. And so it, kind of a disappointment. But it was kind of cool also to finally have Hey Jude and Revolution and some of the other singles on an actual album. And I love that cover shot. And then, like I said, Let It Be. Uh, my older brother had the box set of Let It Be. I think that's about it. Yeah, the Beatles vary together. Uh, those were the early tracks with uh, Tony Sher Sheridan on vocals. Uh, I think the Beatles played on most of the songs, yeah. Uh, John Lennon, lead vocals on H.E. Sweet. Cry for a Shadow, the very first... I think it was the very first Beatles song recorded instrumental written by George Harrison and John Lennon. I don't think the Beatles played on all of these songs, but played on quite a few of them. And there's the uh, back cover with this little write-up by George Harrison. Uh, if you want to pause the video, you can read. So that came out, I think, about 1969, I believe, on the pop. Polydor label. There's the back cover of Beatles 6. Yeah, so it's kind of fun to look back and... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so there's the back cover of one of the early Beatles albums in the U.S. and Canada, Beatles 6. And as you can see, you know, other Beatles albums at the bottom. And some of them, like I said, I never owned my, myself. They, my family never bought. Uh, and so you just stare at the albums for hours on end. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. It's fun to look back. Thanks for watching and have a great day and leave, please leave a comment below and uh, remember to like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Bye.